So when we look at the lower digestive system, if we remove some of the accessory organs, like the liver and the gallbladder, we'll see that we have the stomach coming along here. We can remove the greater omentum, which is the fatty layer that sits above. And here we are, okay? Just like we talked about in the other video, ascending, transverse, descending colon. As we remove the liver from here, this was our hepatic flexure. You can see the spleen here, so this is our splenic flexure. If we take this out again still, you'll notice that the intestines are held in place. So the term colon is synonymous with large intestines, so you'll, you'll hear the term mesocolon. The mesocolon is the tissue you see, connective tissue, holding the colon in place on the posterior side as well. Each of these individual structures here are called a hostrum, or together they're called hostra. This is what kind of acts in an accordion-like fashion to compact feces as it moves through. If we remove this upper portion, you'll see inside the mesocolon we have the uh, mesenteric arteries and veins, the blood supply, that eventually leads to the hepatic portal, which is going to go up to the liver. If you look at this, again, very easily, ascending, transverse has been removed, descending, and then sigmoid colon wraps around in that Greek S or that sigma shape. If we look at the posterior side of the small intestine, we will see the mesentery. Mesentery is kind of like connective tissue coming out from the backside, grabbing on, holding on to the, the tubular structures that make up your small intestine. You can actually see it not just on the posterior side, but reaching through all the way, holding everything in place.